Is YouTube flooding your homepage with women who live in vans? Same. Let's talk about it. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Small Entertainment. Today we are talking about the new YouTuber Janelle Eliana and her ridiculous growth on this platform. Janelle is 20 years old and she lives in her van in California with her pet snake Alfredo. Though her YouTube channel was started in April of 2018, she didn't post her first video until June 26th of 2019. She only has two videos on her channel, the first being a van tour. Her channel has only been active for a little over three weeks and in that time she's gained almost 1.5 million subscribers and racked up over 18 million views. Therefore, she's an industry plant. I'm kidding, she probably isn't, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't think she's an industry plant, because that seems to be the new theme. Let me explain. I found Janelle's van tour video on my YouTube homepage, like a lot of people did, in a playlist for van living. This was not weird to me. I was a Girl Scout for 12 years, I go camping. It's not uncommon for me to lose an afternoon because I fell down a hole watching videos of people who live in vans and live in tents. That's not uncommon for me. So seeing that playlist wasn't unusual to me. I clicked on Janelle's video because her thumbnail stood out against the other thumbnails for young women that live in vans. The reality of it is if you look at the young women who live in vans community on YouTube, it's quite white. Janelle stands out. I watched her whole first video because I found her really engaging and fun and also I really liked that she didn't just go through and do her van tour and tell you what she had. She talked about why she had certain things and how she made the modifications herself and how she jury rigged certain things and I just really liked that. So I ended up watching her whole video. I didn't think anything was wrong until I went from watching her first video to go see her second video and in that time, let's say a little over half an hour, she had gained close to 30,000 subscribers. How? I thought maybe Maybe this was just a fluke thing. When I brought this up to other people, they were like, oh, she bought subscribers. But her buying subscribers didn't really fit for me. But then I went on Twitter and saw that a lot of people were also being recommended, the Van Girl playlist. I saw a couple people who said, yeah, I watched Janelle's video and then suddenly I started getting a bunch of other recommended videos for van life girls and all that other stuff. On Twitter, there was a lot of people claiming she was an industry plant. And then also if you search her name on YouTube now, a lot of videos claiming she's an industry plant. Basically, people are claiming that she either either has a Netflix show lined up or some type of show lined up and so they put her on YouTube and then YouTube is peddling her content trying to grow her image because there's something else going on essentially. I think there's a logical way to explain her growth on the platform. Is it crazy? Yes. Over 1.4 million subscribers in the span of three weeks is insane. It's not unheard of on the platform but for a first time YouTuber it is pretty crazy so I understand 100% why people are like what? Though she hasn't really started making videos until recently she was pretty active on Instagram, but she did have less than 10,000 Instagram followers until not that long ago. And this is evidenced from an article that was done on her a little, a little over four weeks ago. In the article, it shows a screenshot of one of her Instagram posts. And in that, it shows that her follower count was a little over 3,000. She kept always talking about, I'm gonna start my YouTube channel. I'm gonna start my YouTube channel. I'm gonna start my YouTube channel on a couple different posts. What probably happened is that she said she was gonna post her video. She did post her video. And so some of her Instagram followers went and watched the video. So let's say that gave her a couple hundred views, maybe a little more. Because people were watching her video, it started to get recommended to a couple more people. It was also on a popular topic about travel, van life. Let's keep in mind it's the summertime. So travel is a very popular topic right now. A lot of her tags have to do with travel. The algorithm probably picked up on that, which started recommending her video more. It wasn't even her first video that really did the launching. It was the second video talking about how she showers in her van. It has a good number of views more more than the other video. I'll give you one guess as to why that might be. There's a chance it's dirty. It's also probably curiosity. I watched it. I wanted to know too. I was I'm curious. Two days after Janelle posted the video about her showering in her van, she posted a screenshot of her channel with the videos onto her Instagram where she talks about how she was so thankful that she got 100,000 subscribers in less than three weeks. Right around then is when her channel got skyrocketed. This is something that we have seen before, just not with a channel this small or this young. The YouTube algorithm is a fickle bitch and no one really can anticipate what's gonna be popular when. It just kind of happens. Certain channels and certain YouTubers 
do quite well after one video goes viral and then suddenly their other videos are recommended to numerous other people, which is what gets their channels to a certain level. We saw this not that long ago with Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain had been making videos for a couple months with a fairly consistent number of views and it wasn't until she made a video talking about Dollar Store, her views skyrocketed, her subscriber counts, because she started getting recommended constantly. That's how I found Emma Chamberlain is she just started popping up in my recommended all the goddamn time. Janelle did the same thing technically. What people are questioning about Janelle is that she's being peddled to everyone constantly. Obviously more people view a video, more videos from that channel are going to be recommended to more people because people like it. And again, like I said before, I watched Janelle's whole first video because I found her engaging and entertaining. I don't know specifically about how view time affects things aside from obviously ad revenue, but please if you know, let me know if the duration of which someone is watching a video also helps get it recommended more because again, Janelle's very engaging and entertaining. So I'm sure I'm not the only person who sat through her whole video, which could have potentially got it recommended to more people because the algorithm could potentially be recognizing this person is holding people's attention. We want them watching our platform more. Let's peddle this channel like it's crack. One of the reasons I think Janelle's videos are being recommended to the degree that they are on top of everything else I've mentioned, one of the main reasons that I think Janelle's videos are being recommended don't really have to do with YouTube. Has to do with other pop culture current events. Janelle Eliana is not the only Janelle that's been on the rise lately, except she is the one that's been on the rise for good news. I'll say that. A former cast member of Teen Mom, Janelle Evans, also has been in the news quite a bit recently, her and her husband. For a bunch of stuff, her husband killed the family dog for biting their daughter. I think they also lost custody of their children. I never really got into Teen Mom, so I don't really know who a lot of these people are, but it is still like a huge topic right now. Janelle Evans is someone who pops up in my search history for a lot of stuff. For Instagram, Twitter, Janelle Evans is everywhere because of the different controversies attached to her right now. And so I didn't think that that had anything to do with Janelle Eliana until for this video I started looking at some of the industry plant theory videos when I searched Janelle Eliana's name and a lot of videos pertaining to Janelle Evans also started popping up. Now keep in mind Janelle Evans and Janelle Eliana spell their names differently but they're close enough that the algorithm was recommending me videos for both of them. So I'm wondering if potentially Janelle Evans name is being searched and because the algorithm is weird It's peddling out videos for any other person named Janelle and Janelle Eveliana Just happened to put out her channel and start making videos at the right time something I forgot to add when filming YouTube is very keyword oriented the more specific the better so in her about section and her description boxes, rather than just say she lives in a van, she puts the specific make and model of her van, which may also be helping her. Obviously you can disagree with me. You can think she's an industry plan all you want. A good argumentative essay always has a counter argument paragraph acknowledging the opposing side. So here's mine. Here are some points that could potentially point to her being an industry plant. I don't think she is, but here are some of the points. Her channel is very polished. Could have been making videos for a very long time. May have just been the start of her posting actual YouTube videos not that big of a deal. Another thing that I've seen brought up is that some people have been subscribed to her when they didn't subscribe and that she, they were just automatically subscribed to her. That's something that I've experienced on YouTube. Again, YouTube does a lot of weird things. There's been plenty of accounts over the years that I've been subscribed to that I never watched a single video for. Typically what happens more for me at least is that I'm unintentionally unsubscribed from channels that I was actively watching and YouTube just unsubscribed me for some reason. Obviously there's no way to really prove that people have been automatically automatically subscribe to Janelle Eliana, aside from them claiming that they've been automatically subscribed, but so, you know, maybe that's a point for you guys. I don't know. At the time of filming this, Janelle Eliana has not been approached for a Netflix show or anything like that that I've seen. However, in her more recent video, she did talk about how she is saving up for another van bill. <laughs> so her saying that could be completely innocuous, but I understand why if she were to be approached in the near future for a Netflix show, an HGTV show, anything like that about van living or van traveling or van building, that's gonna look real suspicious because of that line. And that was probably a very innocuous line in her video, but you know, I understand why someone may be like, this is the smoking gun. Something else that I thought was weird. She got monetized real f***ing quick. For those of you that don't know, to qualify for the YouTube Partner Program, you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, when I first watched her video, which was a couple of days ago, she had, again, a couple hundred thousand subscribers, but I don't remember seeing any ads on her videos. Now, her videos do in fact have ads, which implies that she met the cutoff and then instantly got monetized fairly 
working quickly. A year ago after TanaCon, I qualified for monetization. It took me almost two months to get approved. Now keep in mind, I had more videos on my channel at the time than Janelle does. And also there's the possibility that because of the large growth on Janelle's channel, that YouTube fast tracked the process that would approve her for monetization because they wanted to keep people involved and keep her making videos because they saw the growth possibility and the potential ad revenue. So it is weird and that is something to be like, excuse me. So this was a weird video and I know this was kind of all over the place, but I don't think she's an industry plan. I really don't. I think she just got on YouTube at the right time and I think she wrote a very weird quick wave of organic growth. My prediction for the future of Janelle Eliana is that if she continues to keep posting videos, she's going to continue to grow. Unfortunately for Janelle, she's already been given the tag that you don't want on YouTube. The same thing that Emma Chamberlain has had to deal with, which is people have given her the title of relatable. You really don't want that on YouTube. Change is inevitable with anyone, but especially someone like Emma Chamberlain who started her channel and got popular when she was 16. Obviously you're going to change and then that only became more exaggerated when she moved to LA to pursue YouTube. YouTubing full time. Janelle is 20, and so the chances of her personality changing are less possible. But if her situation changes whatsoever, say she moves out of the van or she does get a show or something else changes, the possibility of people believing that she has changed and that fame has gotten to her head, I think that might be an unfortunate future for Janelle and Alfredo. Alfredo's going to change, guys. Ball pythons shed their skin. Alfredo is going to change. As far as the rest of YouTube goes, I think we're gonna see a rise of current popular YouTubers saying that they're pursuing a life of minimalism and selling their giant mansions and moving into vans to try and ride the wave, and then they'll do it for like a month or two if they can survive that. I think we're gonna see a rise of more van life videos on YouTube, especially from popular creators now, trying to stay relevant. That's that. But yeah, check out Janelle Eliana. Like I said, I actually liked her video. She's really entertaining. I personally hit the subscribe button. YouTube did not do it for me. That's it for this video. Let me know if you saw Janelle Eliana recommended to you on your homepage for YouTube. Have you watched other van videos in the past? Was this a first for you? Did you watch any other car travel related anything like that videos that would have potentially led to her being recommended to you? Did you find that you were automatically subscribed to her? Did you hear anyone else say they were automatically subscribed to her? Do you think she's an industry plant? Why do you think she's an industry plant? Seriously, tell me why you think she's an industry plant. Very few people have given actual logical arguments for why they think she's an industry plan. They're like, she just grew too quickly. And I'm like, y yeah, and the algorithm is f***ing weird. So many people have experienced that. That's not an argument. I'm sorry. Give me something that you at least believe to be concrete. Fake it till you make it and all that. That's it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Shout out to my patrons, Sarah and Aaron. Thank you for supporting me on my Patreon. If you would also like to support me on Patreon, the link will be listed down below. That's it. Thank you for watching. I don't think she's an industry plant, but if she were to get a Netflix or an HGTV show, I would have watched the ever-loving out of it.